Joined by Bob Weeks. Bob, 2023 has been a remarkable year for Canadians on the PGA Tour. Looking ahead, do you think 2024 is going to be the best PGA Tour season ever for Team Canada? I think there's two ways to look at this, Adam. You know, I think, first of all, you have to say, yeah, this is a great year. And you had that, the, the big five Canadian guys who performed so well. We had four wins. Adam Hadwin playing, uh, you know, coming close a couple times to winning out there. And so, yes, you can mark this up. And, of course, that big win by Nick Taylor at the RBC Canadian Open. Next year, however, I think if you look at that, you know, you've got to step it up. And for four of those big five, excluding Mac uh, permanently, but perhaps, for, but he's going to get in a, likely for the first two, those signature events, they are going to play a lot more tournaments against deeper fields. You know, not to say that they weren't playing in deep fields this year, but if you look at their performance over the majors last year, uh, they, they qualified for 15 starts. Those five players imagine, got into, into the major championships and made 15 starts as a com combination. There was only one finish better than a tie for 29th, and that was PGA, at the PGA Championship when Corey Connors tied for 13th. He was actually more or less in contention until the last little bit on Saturday and Sunday when he, uh, he really succumbed. He was under the weather. But I guess my point is that it's going to be more difficult with the way the tour is set up with the calendar. These guys are going to have to play better. And I think that's a good thing. That's what you want them to do. You want them to stand. That's what they want to do. They want to start playing better in the tougher tournaments against the deeper fields. Look at what Nick Taylor did at, uh, at the uh, waste management this year. You know, battling Scotty Scheffler down the stretch. That's what you got to see. If you want to say that 2024 is going to be better than 2023, then these guys have to step it up in the majors and they have to step it up in those signature events. Yeah, you mentioned Corey Connors, who at that PGA Championship, maybe he was under the weather, also got quite the brutal break in that fairway bunker after having the lead during a lot of that third round at Oak Hill. But how about Nick Taylor? OK, this guy uh, back in the day was the top ranked amateur in the world and sure it might have taken him a long time to really peak and succeed on the PGA Tour but now Bob he's 35 years old he has three PGA Tour wins and arguably one of the greatest moments we've seen in recent Canadian sports history so what's next for Nick Taylor to take the next step in his career the biggest thing I think for Nick Taylor is not to take a step backwards, and, and I don't mean that in a bad way, but I just mean, you know, this, this was a monumental win. This was as big as a major championship winning the RBC Canadian Open. He's already been, uh, been sort of, uh, I don't know what you want to say, dining out on it, but he's gotten a lot of different offers to do different things and, and to, to maximize what is a, an outstanding championship. Now, the one thing that Nick has done over the last couple of years, and the reason why I think he's been playing so good, is he's worked on a lot of different parts of his game. He really sort of reset everything two years ago. He got Gareth Rafluski, who's a noted short game coach, and he is now, I would say, Nick Taylor is one of the top 20 guys with a wedge in his hand on the PGA Tour, possibly with a putter as well, and that wasn't always the case. I think he's driving the ball a lot better. He's putting it in play. And I think he's always been comfortable under the gun. You always joke to me, you know, about how why I picked him when we were doing our, our picks, our prop picks for the RBC Canadian Open. Because I thought if any Canadian was going to win the RBC Canadian Open, he was going to be the guy who would have the most nerve to do it. And I think that's something he's got to show even a little more. He did it really in Phoenix. He had, didn't blink an eye, uh, except with one bad swing on the 16th hole. They got a little bit of a bad break on it. But he, otherwise, he could have been contending uh, with Scotty Scheffler right up to the final hole. But I think Nick Taylor has a lot of uh, mental strength as well. And now that his game is showing so, such great signs, there's no reason to think why he can't play a little bit better than he did even this past year. Yeah, you and Nick Taylor at 70 to 1 pre tournament at the RBC Canadian Open. We'll just call you the value guru master. But for Nick Taylor <laughs> himself, he has that even keeledness to stay in the moment, but he also has the swagger too, Bob. During regulation at the RBC Canadian Open on the 72nd hole, he was fist pumping before the ball went in the hole after he had about an eight footer for birdie. So he has that swagger. Nick Taylor, obviously a remarkable accomplishment. Now, there are so many big things coming in 2024, of course, these signature events on the PGA Tour, but some other big events, too, including the Olympics. On the male side, right now, Bob, who do you think should be on Team Canada? 
Well, I think that really the two guys at the top of the list are, are obvious. It's Corey Connors and it's Nick Taylor. But that can change pretty quickly. I mean, if one of, the, one of the other three makes a win or one of someone else coming back, don't forget we've got some new Canadians or returning Canadians, let's call them, and Ben Silverman and Roger Sloan coming back up there. You know, if, if somebody steps up and just says, okay, yep, I'm going to uh, win a couple of tournaments, Taylor Pendrith, another one, then they're going to make a move. And, and a lot of the, those guys have their eyes on that spot. I mean, uh, you know, Adam Hadwin, if it hadn't been for COVID, in 2020, he would have been on that Olympic team. He wants to get on that Olympic team because it went a little further. Mackenzie Hughes got the nod. But I think all those guys are, are really want to represent Canada. The guys who have been there before, even more so because they know what the Olympics is all about. The Olympics is the, the biggest event in sports. There is nothing like it. And I keep telling those players as they get ready and they're in the lead up to it, I said, you're not going to imagine how big it is. And when they come back, they always agree. So I think that's, that's a prime... Uh, a prime part of their uh, their goal list this year. They're going to decide, by the way, right after the U.S. Open. And during those Tokyo Olympics, too, of course, there weren't many or any fans there because of COVID restrictions. As for me, I really think Adam Hadwin is prime for a big year. Six top tens in 22-23 on the PGA Tour. Three runner-up finishes, too. And I'm expecting big things out of Nick Taylor. He got that historic victory. Now I'm expecting even bigger things for Nick Taylor. Taylor. Now, after the Olympics, of course, we have the FedEx Cup playoffs. Then after that is the President's Cup at Royal Montreal, which Mike Weir will be captain. Now, Bob, you spoke to Mike about six weeks ago, and you gave him the over-under two and a half of Canadians being on the international side. So we'll ask you the same question. Over-under <laughs> two and a half Canadians. I'm going over all the way. I think these guys... It's, it's funny when you talk to them, as I have over the last month or six weeks or whatever, pretty much all of them, I sort of said, you know, what about next year? They tend to focus more on the President's Cup than the Olympics, believe it or not. They really want to play in this. I mean, I think they realize that this is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to play at a President's Cup in your home country and play for Mike Weir. So those three things, three things combined, I think, really give it... Uh, a, a big big star on their calendar, on their list of goals that they want to do. Every one of those guys is gearing for that. Even the guys, as I mentioned, Roger Sloan and Ben Silverman, uh, Taylor Pendrith, they all want to get back, or in Taylor Pendrith's case, get back on that President's Cup team. It is a real key for these guys. So you're going to see some guys grinding. And when it gets down to the, uh, the deadline before choosing, I think you're going to see a guy trying to add a lot of events, maybe just to sneak over the, the borderline and impress uh, Captain Mike Weir. So you like the over, I like the over, and I should also mention that you asked Mike Weir the same question, and he also gave the over of two and a half Canadians on the International Presidents Cup team. 2023 has been a special year for Canadians on the PGA Tour. 2024 could be even better. Bob, thanks for this.